How's it going everybody and it's Natural Physique. We're going to do a chest session today. We're going to mainly focus on the isometric movements of the push, focus on growing your chest. So make sure you stay tuned and make sure you check it out because there's got a lot of pointers that I'm going to put in there. I'm going to show you exercises that I do in the gym. Yeah. So you're going to get insight of what I basically do, how I grow my chest, so then you guys can actually follow it as well. We're just in the marina gym. It's getting a nice little warm up going before we start. So let's get into it. going to start this off is isometric exercises focusing on the base part of the chest the wide part of the chest also the decline part of the chest as well so you're gonna get inside of all the exercises that I do so you guys can follow it at home yeah make sure you check out my channel natural physique let's get into it So the key thing that we're going to do before we start off, this is for everybody to start doing. Also mobilize your rotator cuff as well, yeah? Because this is where people tend to have a lot of injuries. So when they're pushing the weight, they tend to feel a strain just on the shoulders because they're overloading, putting too much pressure and they haven't warmed it up properly. So what we're going to do, we're just going to warm up with the dumbbell. We're just going to use this dumbbell to help with the mobility of this exercise and also warm up the shoulders, the delts, and the chest area as well. Let's get into it. A quite simple exercise you can do is lay onto your side. Yeah, just lay down onto your side, grab the dumbbell, right onto the side of your waist, yeah, and you want to open it out as far as possible. And this is going to help with the mobility as well. You want to keep your elbows locked in. So we'll do 10 of these. Keep the elbows locked in and it's open up. Alright, so for the next exercise, stand in. So come down, straight up. Same thing with the dumbbell. Just for the rotator cuff, mobilize the shoulders. So you feel less pain on there, we're going to do 10. But there's multiple ways where you can warm up your chest, you can use the bands as well to extend it overhead in front or you can basically use the dumbbells. I find these much more effective when I actually use it. It leaves less pressure, it mobilizes obviously the, um, the shoulders more as well. I don't feel any pain. I don't feel no pain when I put heavy load of obviously chest press. Um, so now we're going to get into the actual chest press. I put it on a reasonable weight for myself and you just want to easily do 10. Okay, 
Simple, nice, effective 10, no pressure on the shoulders. Let's move on to the next exercise. Like I'm saying, we're gonna do a superset here. So we're gonna go from bench into push-ups. We're gonna do three rounds. You're gonna basically do 10. All right, and find yourself a spot on the floor. As soon as you basically done the chest press, give yourself 30 seconds rest if you need to, but we're gonna get into the chest push-ups. This is how you're gonna burn out the chest. Find out the stance with the hands. I do not wanna see dolphin, because you see dolphins all the time when people do push-ups, or the half, these ones. You're not silly, you look, when people do push-ups like this, and you think that you're really doing your chest. Stop doing it, okay? Stop doing it. So, if you find it hard, place your knees onto the floor, shoulder width, chest down to the floor, exhale, three go. Inhale, exhale. Yeah, simple as that. No dolphins ever again. That's what you call them. When you see people do that, you call them dolphin. Shoulder width, chest down and up. We're gonna do 10. So like I'm saying, this is a superset. So once you finish the push-up, go straight back into the bench. 10, that's all you need to do. Then we're gonna go into wide push-ups. So give yourself 30 seconds rest, widen up the hands, down and up. There you go, 10. We go back onto the bench, we do another 10, then we do close grip push-ups for the middle part of the chest. Last exercise now before we go into diamond push-ups. 10. to your chest all the way up if you find it difficult you can do it on your knees make sure your elbows come in we're gonna do 10 all right so the next bit of the exercise would be flies you can use this machine so lateral you want to squeeze in Come down slowly, slightly bend the elbows, squeeze in and down. We're gonna do 10. So, if you wanna work the natural part of the chest, best exercise to do, move on to the next little bit. Hold the hands inside the middle, squeeze, slowly come back, just one arm. fingertips in between. Rest 30 seconds and go straight into it. So you hold it inside, open it, close. Just shoulder whip. Then we grab a plate. 
So what we're going to do with the plate, hold it in between the chest. You're going to push it out and come back in. At least 10. That's going to get the middle part of the chest, the lateral part. Let's focus on the decline now. Then we're going to basically do the incline. Make sure you stretch. We're going to do the decline now. So let's move on to the next bit. On to the next exercise, which will be decline for the dumbbells. So try not to complicate when you do these exercises. When you're doing chest, it's just a push motion, a flies motion, and also a decline as well. So we've got two dumbbells, shoulders back. You're going to squeeze the chest in with the dumbbells up and slowly come down. You want to do at least 10. rounds of these okay in between we're gonna get you doing decline push-ups as well so we want to do decline part of the chest so we're gonna do some push-ups this is the advanced way on the floor you can do it make sure your hands are underneath the chest Ten. Make sure you subscribe and check out my channel Natural Physique. Like I'm saying, these exercises you can do inside the gym. You already got the body weight one. If you go and click below the description, you see the body weight exercise one. This is more the chest obviously workouts, so you can break it down if you really want to feel that depth and width in your chest. Make sure you subscribe, leave your comments below on what other exercises you want me to do. I'm trying to at least upload one video a week. Let's get into it. Natural physique. 